and I'd like to welcome you all to our tower lighting ceremony on behalf of the 25th anniversary of the James Beard Foundation and the 22nd annual James Beard Awards. Tonight our tower lights will shine in orange and yellow to celebrate the James Beard Foundation's ongoing commitment to nurturing and preserving America's diverse culinary heritage and future. I'd like to now introduce Susan Ungaro, President of the James Beard Foundation. We are so excited to be here on this wonderful May 7th day uh, to represent the James Muir Foundation's 25th anniversary. Our little foundation is housed in Greenwich Village in a townhouse where James Beard lived for many years. And as you heard, our mission is to celebrate the best of the best in America in the world of food. We do it so many ways. This is a very special day for us tonight. We'll be over at Avery Fisher Hall, Lincoln Center, uh, celebrating the best chefs, restaurants, and many other lifetime achievement winners who really make this world of food a wonderful, delicious place. Uh, it's really my pleasure to uh, introduce one of our special friends of the foundation. He is also going to be the master of ceremonies at our James Beard Awards tonight at Lincoln Center. Alton Brown is known to so many people for so many wonderful achievements, uh, not only his uh, many television shows, uh, he also uh, was uh, voted uh, by the James Beard Foundation a Broadcast Awards uh, Committee as Best Television Personality, so he's a James Beard Award winner as well. And it's really my pleasure to introduce Alton Brown to help us officially like the Empire State Building today in honor of our foundation. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's really difficult to, to overstate the significance of, of the Beard House. As I stand here in the most iconic uh, building in, in the Western world, certainly uh, in, in New York and the United States, I think about, uh, again, this, this uh, little roundstone down in Greenwich Village uh, that is really kind of, I won't say that it's our, our mecca, but for the food world, for American food, it's really kind of both a clubhouse and a high cathedral. Uh, where, where James Beard, certainly the father of American food, lived for, for many years. And the colors that are going to be going up on, on this fine building tonight are, are red and, and yellow. And these are very significant colors to the Beard House. The red represents the walls of uh, specifically the, the main parlor in the Beard House, which is this deep red. Uh, James Beard often said that it was like living in a bowl of tomato soup, which apparently was something that he enjoyed. I don't know how that sounds. Maybe floating on it would be nice. But uh, And then the yellow, uh, symbolizes or represents the pineapple motif. Uh, there are pineapples in, in several parts of, of the Beard House. Of course, in Western civilization, the pineapple is a, a symbol of hospitality. And so we, uh, we have tonight uh, on the uh, top of the Empire State Building both the red, the walls of the uh, parlor of the Beard House, and also the yellow representing the pineapples and the, uh, the hospitality that really does kind of stand as uh, the real statement of what American food actually is. So, that's it. Thank you. Of lighting the building. We have a gift for you from the Empire State Building, your very own building to remind you of the day that you lit the building. I've been lit in a building, but I've never actually lit it. So thank you. Now on the count of three, you can do the honor. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Kind of looks like a popsicle, which is a good thing. 